Hey guys, welcome back to Sarah Abbott Life Coaching. My name is Sarah and I'm the life coach here. It's Boundary Work Wednesday, which is just my favorite day. Boundaries are freedom. And it's one of the things I love to talk about the most and to teach about. Um, we are learning from the Boundaries book. It's literally the Bible of Boundaries, uh, Henry Cloud and John Townsend. So um, down and below in the description notes, I put a link grab that book. It will change your life. Okay. Last week we were talking about sweet Sherry. Sherry has no boundaries. That's why we love her. There's so much to learn. And last week she was having no boundaries with her friend Lois. And Lois went on and on and on. She's a very needy friend. We all have people in our life who need us more than others or they think they do. Um, and so anyway, what happened was Lois missed most of her lunch because she was willing to let Lois gab her ear off and then she couldn't eat healthy because she only had like a couple minutes to come back to work so she went and got fast food which she didn't feel great about and then she came back and like inhaled it and went back to work. Not the peaceful lunch any of us would hope for. Okay so the question is and we were at we were talking about this in the comments and um via email and, and on the Facebook page is like, what boundary could Sherry have set with Lois to take care of herself? See, what happens when we don't set boundaries is we self abandon. And so at some point, probably subconsciously, Sherry thought Lois's need to gab and vent and complain was more important than Sherry's need for a peaceful, healthy lunch hour during her work day. And I would argue it doesn't have to be either or. I believe that we can have boundaries that keep us balanced and keep our relationships balanced. How do you do that? You set a boundary, hold the boundary and accept the relational consequences. Because the thing is, some people aren't going to like our boundaries and we have to ask, are we worth their distress? And I would argue a hundred percent. Yes, you are. So just get, get your mind wrapped around that. Okay. I'm just going to present one possible boundary that Sherry could have set. She a didn't have to answer the phone when Lois called. I don't know if when they wrote this book, Sherry had call waiting, but we have call waiting now. And do you know that when you see somebody calling, you don't have to answer. <laughs> that was an epiphany when I figured that out at the beginning of my boundary life. I was like, what? I don't even have to answer. Okay. Number one, Sherry could have just let it go to voicemail and talk to Lois when she had more time. Cause she likes Lois, I think. Um, and, but you know, there's not always, now is not always the right time to talk to our friends or family or whoever. Okay. Other, here's another boundary. She could have answered cause maybe she didn't have call waiting. And Lois, oh, 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 help me, help me. Complain, complain. And Sherry could have stopped and said, Lois, I would love to talk to you, but now is not a good time. Now, my best friend tells me all the time, you don't have to tell people why it's not a good time, but I always feel like I have to, which is a lack of boundaries. So if it were me, I'd be like, it's not a good time right now because I need to go eat or go get and eat my lunch. And you don't even have to tell them at lunch. You could just say it's not a good time right now. That is a complete sentence. You know what else is a complete sentence? Can't talk right now. Okay, cool. So now we have two things Sherry could have done. All right, pros and cons. When you set a boundary, there will be pros and there will be cons. And it's okay, because guess what? When you don't set boundaries, there's pros and there's cons. So either way, right? Someone is going to feel put out better, not you, because that's called self care. Okay, let's say Lois answers. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a good time. I need to go eat my lunch, but you know what? I'll call you back um, in the next couple days when I have a minute. Thanks, bye. Okay, pros. Sherry took care of herself. She didn't self abandon. Pros. Sherry gets to go procure a healthy meal that will feed and nourish her body. Pro. She gets to go eat it peacefully over an hour and maybe read the newspaper or catch up on her Facebook post, whatever she wants to do. And she's not listening to Lois Blather and getting resentful. Remember, resentment is a big red flag that you're not having a boundary with somebody. Because if you have good boundaries, you actually won't resent anyone for anything. 
that's the freedom of it. Okay, cons. Lois might feel offended. Okay, you actually don't have control over how people feel. It might feel <laughs> like you don't have control, but you don't. If, if Sherry self abandons and lets Lois go on and on and on, she might think, oh, I'm, I'm saving Lois from being mad at me. But guess what? At the end of the hour, if you say, I gotta go, cause now I need to go to McDonald's and shove food in my face for five minutes, Lois might still be irritated about that. Okay, so you need to let go of other people's feelings and really check into what your needs and your wants and your feelings are. That is how you take care of yourself. Come back next week. We're gonna be talking about Sherry at work with her boss and how can she have boundaries? Can we have boundaries with our bosses? That's a good question. Thanks for joining us. I love Boundary Over Wednesdays. It is my favorite thing. And come back this Friday where we're going to talk about how the Enneagram can change your life like it's changed mine. Take care. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you like this episode, then, you know, leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up so that I know you liked it. Take care. Bye-bye.